as team manager in a, a motorsport uh, team, um, the, the role is quite far-reaching um, and pretty difficult to define. Uh, it goes from day-to-day -day management of people um, through to some of the processes and, and onto drivers, but it's, uh, it's something that's very difficult to define and it's, um, it's different every day, which is one of the attractions for the role. Um, I think it's something that you, know, you need to have a very can-do uh, attitude towards. The first test we did in Monza, which was the official FIA WEC test, we got a first inkling of how good this driver lineup and how good this team we'd put together was going to be. And I think I'm right in saying that at the end of the test, hoping top the times. But it was really in how the team worked together, how the drivers all bonded together, which has been a key element to the success this year. And that was obvious, or becoming obvious, at Monza at the first test. I think for me and one of our successes of the year is we just concentrated on what we had to do and never worried about what other teams were doing. So our first race of the year uh, in the World Endurance Championship was at Silverstone um, and obviously we had a very good result of finishing top of the podium. Um, obviously you know, we have very high expectations of a team and it's, that was one of the expectations was to win. Je m'imaginais qu'on qu soit dans le rythme, euh, qu'on est un un bon rythme en course, etc., qu'on ait peut-être la chance de faire un podium. It really gave us some momentum going forward into the first half of the season. So for us, it was a very, a very good defining moment. Uh, it, it was a lot of hard work that went before it. J'avais le sourire jusqu'aux oreilles, forcément, et on était tous contents de cette victoire. Every single person in the team is only as, as good as the next person along. Um, there's not one person within our team that has a more or less important role uh, and everyone performs very important functions. So uh, nobody within the team can be singled out for any special praise, um, no matter how flattering it is. I think uh, we're very, very fortunate in that we've built, and it is a we, have built a, a very strong, close-knit team. Alex, talking. Tristan, pushing. Um, let's say, Hopin. Team Mom. Um, Ollie, Team Dad. And, well, Toma, Team Kid. So one of the drivers that came from the Jackie Chan DC Racing side of the partnership was Tom Laurent. And we knew of Tom Laurent, heard of Tom Laurent, this, this karting protégé over the years, and were aware of what he'd achieved in the Asian Le Mans series as well. A lot of drivers have potential, but realizing that potential under high pressure, high stress situations, a lot of them fall apart. Tomo, the bigger the pressure, the better he got. I think that everyone knows the famous Red Lion. And so that's what I appreciate on this circuit. It was the second circuit in the most important of the season. It was the preparation for Le Mans. 
Donc forcément, euh, tout le monde était au taquet pour euh, prouver euh, leur point de vitesse. A race car is a race car, and it doesn't matter if it goes five seconds a lap faster than the car from the previous year. Uh, what did change was the management of the tyres, and that turned out to be one of the keys for the season. So when the deal first came about with Jackie Chan DC Racing, we, we knew it was a fantastic opportunity and that it would be a very strong driver lineup and that we'd be able to put together a very strong team. But you can never expect to win Le Mans because there's so many factors, so many variables that can go against you at Le Mans. And so you go there with your, your best chances, you do everything you can to mitigate as many of these factors as you can. And you hope that you have a great result, but you can never really expect to win. Winning Le Mans is something that, personally, as a driver, but even in a bigger scale, as, as a team, we've dreamed about ever since the beginning. And uh, as a little kid, the target was always Le Mans. And as a driver and as a team owner, you remember that moment for the rest of your life. But. Um, in some ways, I can't even describe what we were feeling at that moment. De, de la course, on s'était dit mais euh, on peut le faire, on peut y arriver euh, si, les, si les P1 devant ont des problèmes etc. Mais on, on disait ça en rigolant avec les, les, les autres pilotes, mais, euh, mais c'est arrivé. On était premier pendant euh, plus d'une heure euh, jusqu'à temps que la, la Porsche MP1 nous, nous rattrape. Mais voilà, on s'y attendait. Euh, certains dans le team euh, espéraient euh, une première place au général, mais voilà, fallait rester les pieds sur terre. Et, euh, et voilà, à, à trois quarts d'heure de la fin. Euh, il me semble la, 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 la Porsche LMP1 nous a dépassé. Pour être honnête, quand, quand on débute euh, aussi jeune, à 19 ans, les 24 heures du Mans, et, et que l'on couvre un peu un pilote, ce que l'on essaye, c'est qu'il fasse le minimum d'erreurs, qu'il apprenne le maximum de choses, qu'il ne soit pas sous pression. Euh, et avec Thomas, ça a été un peu tout ça, mais sauf que la différence, c'est qu'on n'était pas au milieu du classement, mais on était en tête, euh, ou euh, en tout cas toujours sur le podium de la LMP2. Puis au fur et à mesure de la course et de l'avancement de la course et des problèmes du LMP1, euh, il s'est retrouvé à monter dans la voiture à un moment où on était en tête de la course. Et ça aussi, euh, le meilleur des scénarios des films de Jackie Chan ne pouvait pas le prévoir. It did look like there was the potential that we could win overall, but unfortunately we were told by the ACO that we had to make uh, this additional pit stop to change the tail on the car, which cost us quite a bit of time. So that put an end to that dream, but it was a, a fantastic thing to have led Le Mans overall. La 
quand on voit toute la petite lane qui est remplie de public. C'est vraiment quelque chose d'incroyable que je pense que tous les pilotes souhaitent vivre ça au moins une fois dans leur vie. Et voilà, j'ai eu la chance de, de le vivre dès la première année. Et c'était vraiment un, un sentiment vraiment très fort de monter deux fois sur le podium. Euh, première fois pour le, le classement général et, euh, et la deuxième fois pour le, le classement de lmp 2 Lorsqu'à la fin de la course, on n'a pas vu un drapeau chinois sur le podium, mais deux drapeaux chinois, non pas sur la troisième marche, mais sur la première et la deuxième, effectivement, euh, bon, jamais on l'avait imaginé. Un incroyable jour. Unfortunately, nous avons eu un week-end très difficile pour ça, donc ça a été tourné en un. C'était un peu de jours wrapped in one, mais oui, c'est quelque chose qui n'a pas été sonné encore. But, um, but when it does, I think, I think we'll reflect and it will be a huge moment. At the end of the day, that is pure happiness as well. Uh, so I remember when I took the selfie, it was just overcome with joy. You, always, you almost become emotionless from having so much emotion. So you almost have to stop for a second and say, wait, is this real? Have I actually done this? You're a little confused of what's next, but you're in that moment as well. So it's it's everything, and it was just the most surreal feeling I've ever felt. It was a perfect mix of character. Um, everyone got along really great. The chemistry in the team was really great, and at the end of the day, a lot of people asked us or asked me after Le Mans, you know, what was kind of the secret to success or what did we have that others didn't have. Obviously we had a great team, mechanics, the engineering, the car was so quick and everything was prepped correctly. Um, from the team side, everyone was working hard and on it, but from the driver side, there felt like a lot of tension. So. We took the opportunity to go do a training camp together. Everyone bunked up, yeah, stayed in the same house, um, saw each other every day. If there's any differences or problems, we had to work it out all together. And through some challenges and stressful, physically stressful uh, events, you really come together as a team. And for us this year, the team is strong and everyone worked for each other. Second flag, hoping, second flag. Fantastic job, mate. Well done. Great work. Yeah, our lineup this year on paper, of course, everyone stands out in their own way. But is it super shiny? Arguably yes, arguably no, but when everyone's together, I'll be very strong as a package. Uh, that I believe we are, and that was the difference. As an engineer, you have to make all the decisions and that pressure is huge because all you need in a six hour race is to make one wrong decision and in a race like that you would make hundreds of decisions and it just takes one wrong decision to lose the race. And so the pressure is huge but it's constant, non-stop for six hours. I think of course Jackie coming to Shanghai and Jackie and being involved in our team, it helps the development of us and Jackie of course is a household name and uh, with his involvement with us it raises our profile um, and it really helps us connect 
with people that may be unaware or have never heard of motor racing before, have never seen it, and maybe through this common connection, they'll take an interest, um, you know, as a bystander, uh, just take a curious look. And of course, motorsports is very alluring, and many times when you take a curious look, that's when the addiction starts. So I know Jackie is very enthused about motorsports, really supports us, really is always pushing us on, helping us in the background, and uh, it's a big part of the foundation of this team. Of course, this year at the Six Hours of Shanghai, our home race, uh, it's a very bu busy weekend with friends, family, and a lot of fans coming out to support us. Um, coming home as the Le Mans winners and the current leaders of the LMP2 at that point was a very, very, let's say, pressurizing weekend. So to finish second in the championship after the nine races and having led the championship for eight of those nine races at times with quite a substantial points lead was hard. It was hard on the team, it was hard on the drivers, difficult for everybody. Um, obviously the, the disappointment was in everybody's heads um, and it's you know, very difficult to sort of comprehend that we'd finished second and the margin was so close. It's the first time in my career that I could have sat and cried. On était devant pendant 5 heures, pendant toute la course. Et euh, malheureusement, on est obligé de, de se platcher à la fin pour, euh, pour remettre de l'essence suite à un, un petit problème technique, ce qui nous fait malheureusement perdre la course et perdre le titre. In Tomo, I saw a lot of myself, and him and I have a similar trait. We were in some very desperate situations, and he never let us down, <laughs> never ever. And uh, I'll hopefully. I'll be close to him for the rest of his life. All of the team in the garage, I'm pretty proud of you, but uh, let's go in the garage just have a chat. So I thought it was, a, it was hugely important that not only that we, we got together and showed our unity, but also that, you know, personally, we, we could show people that we cared. Um, I had a little bit of a uh, quivering bottom lip, but um, I'm sure a few people did, but we, you know, it's it's very hard nosed business motor racing. Um, you know, emotions aren't generally, or try not to be involved. You try to evict them. Um, but at that point, I thought the it was important that you know, everybody in the team knew that we were all emotionally attached to it. We all give so much, um, and that's from from top to bottom. Um, everybody gives so much uh, and sacrifices a lot in their lives to do motor racing, um, and you know we do it for. For the highs, um, sometimes that involves a low, uh, and unfortunately, Bahrain was a low. Um, I think the season as a whole was a high, um, and it will definitely be a very high moving forwards. Everyone's done such a great job. Uh, in, I think, for the team to have strength, we're only as weak as our weakest link, and everyone has carried their weight and more this year. So much racing is what you can control, but so much of racing is what you can't control as well. And the things that can't, we can't control have played many factors throughout the season. Um, it was so many thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of seconds of racing over the year, and it came down to 10 seconds that the championship was won and lost over.
you have to give credit where this is still the World Endurance Championship. Uh, it's the best teams in the world and I'd say for a first year team for us to come second in the, in the world is uh, something that you can accept. Of course you always strive for more but of course what's done is done and we sit here looking forward. Uh, we're all racers, we all want to win, but at the end of the day, it's more about what you do than what the results show. And what we have done this year and what we have achieved is beyond anything that any piece of metal, any trophy or any award can justify. So for me, all the boys should be proud of what we did. Uh, the whole team should be proud of what we did. And I certainly am.